Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel, so out again, and today we have Pokemon. So uh, this is the last of my Chilling Rain haul. Um, that this kind of what I've been gathering, what I've been saving. Uh, these two are recently picked up at Target uh, not too long ago. These are the only ones left on, left on the shelf. Uh, these two I picked up when they had a restock, so that's pretty cool. I picked up another, uh, this is a three pack here, and then they only had the uh, Snorlax, um, the Snorlax one, not the Eevee one, so which is cool. Double Snorlax is fine. And also got this uh, Shadow Car Rider. I believe it's a Shadow um, Calvex. Uh, I can't tell the art anymore because I believe the Frozen one, the Ice one, has the horn and the Shadow one. I'm, I'm assuming it's more the Shadow. So I can't tell. I had to open up enough, played enough Pokemon to understand what it is. But this is what it is though, so I'm going to open up all this, uh, these packets today. Um, really just because I'm kind of done collecting, uh, opening Chilling Rain products. So I won't be buying anymore because I need to save money for the 25th anniversary stuff. And also Evolving Skies when it does come out because that's going to be a really big set there. So, uh, yeah, yeah I'm going to just open up a... I do have some more ETBs, but I am going to keep them as still product. So I do have one um, Ice and also one Shadow Rider uh, ETBs that I have just kind of sitting around that I will be keeping as still product. Uh, but yeah, so this is it. And once I'm done with this, this should be the rest or all of Chilling Rain that I have left. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I do have my booster box. Ah, dang it. But... I don't know if I want to keep that as a sealed product or if I want to open it up. I don't want any more bulk cards and so we'll have to see. But anyways, I am building my uh, master uh, collection. Let me show y'all. So this is my uh, master collection. I got this bind from Denny. Thank you, Denny. Uh, surprisingly, so sad surprise. So sadly, I had bought these, um, what do you call it? Um, card holders right the three binders uh, i bought them from target and then i left the <laughs> the plastic portion in my car and it was a pretty hot day and now it's all kind of warped if you see you can see all of the warpness of it so it's all warped and i'm kind of sad because they're all warped but anywho i have my chilling rain set here so this is what I've gathered so far, and then I haven't sorted all my cards out yet. I still need to sort the cards out. I still need to, um, and then I have the, uh, so what I'm doing is I'm having just the regular one on there and then reverse hollows on the back. So that's what I'm using with this. Um, I don't have any full art in here yet. I'm trying to figure out a way. I don't think I want to put the full art in here. I might use a placeholder with like a, an energy here if, I did, if there is a full art. I'm still trying to figure that out. But yeah, this is what I have here. So I do want to start filling this in and, you know, start seeing which cards I need, right? And so, yeah, I think this is just from the uh, ETB and um, some other uh, three packs that I've filled in so far. But yeah, this, this is all Chilling Rain set here. And if you can see, these, these here don't have any wrinkles in them at all. They're all nice and smooth. But I left these other ones in my car and they're forever damaged so you can see all the wrinkles and it's kind of shrinked of some sort or expanded i don't know but anywho so uh yeah i'm, I'm done cl opening i might be done opening chilling ring stuff you might see me open up another booster box but i'm kind of on a fence about that because like i said i don't want any more bulk cards you can show my bulk cards i need to sort through So, this is all the bulk I got from um, just opening up a bunch of uh, ETVs and also, you know, just chilling rain in general. These are all chilling rain, um, just bulk. Oh gosh, just all bulk, right? So, that's the uh, chilling rain uh, uh, symbol right there. I'm understanding the symbols because I'm seeing them more often. And I do still have to sort through this booster box that i opened up so the booster box here um i believe it has i don't think i even sorted out the rares in here so it's all in here still i just kind of kept it together because i do want to i do want to go through these cards and see how much of a 
you know, like how many flappies, 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 flappies did I get? I saw a lot of, you know, Aaron's, eight Aaron's, or a lot, Sfield, not really. All right, so the cast one, so I had Tenna, and as you can see right here at the bottom. So I do want to go through and see how many cards of, you know, just of, uh, of each, how many Pokemon I'm getting, you know, how many copies of them. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, and these ones here are just all the bulk. These are all the bulk cards. There, there shouldn't be any rares because I did separate all the rares from these. So, yeah, I I'm trying to open up the last of this pot again. I'm trying to get rid of all the Chilean, even though I haven't pulled you know, the Chase card, which is okay, but it's fine. I, I think I'll just go and, you know, I'm learning that. You just buy a couple, you know, and then you, you gotta have a limit. I, I I haven't learned where my limit is on purchasing product right now, but I do need to put a budget because right now my budget's kind of you know out there. So, but anyways, I I picked up these two. These two are new to me. Um, the coins here, I believe this is Lugia. It looks like Lugia, and this is Rayquaza. Um, I don't know who this guy is. Um, comment below if you know what this this coin is. I don't know what it is. Alright, and so uh, the arts on these ones, I haven't seen these guys yet, so we have a Rare Lord and Meotic. So, uh, D. Are these promotions? D and E? Huh, I wonder. I wonder if the D at the bottom means it's a promotion of a thing. I'm not too sure. But, anywho, so I got a Rare Lord and a Meotic, and then we got the pre wall from two. Wilmer and Feebass. Uh, Pokemon Go, this guy here, the shiny version. He's pretty much Thanos, so I've been still trying to get my Pokemon Go. I have not caught one. My wife caught him. I was pretty sad. I was, I was willing to trade her for her shiny, but that's going to be a huge Stardust to trade over, though. But, anyway, let's get to opening these packs, and then, um, yeah, I'm going to go away and do a cut, and these all should be open already. All right. Well, I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to do a fast forward, so let's fast forward, fast forward through this. Put that down. No, let cards out. One out. Code card. And we got a Mealtic. Put this to the side. Throw that out. That to the side.
All right, and we are back. So, uh, code cards for y'all. So, this is the code card for the Meotic. This is the code card for the Whale Lord. Uh, check lane blisters. The $5 ones. And the code card for the three packs. First one. And the second one. Cool. There y'all go. Code cards there for y'all. And let's take a look at these cards here. So, uh, we have a Whale Lord. I'm sorry, Whalemur with the Whale Lord on top. Evolve Whale Lord. So, pretty cool. You have a little Whale Lord in the back. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Cool cards there. And we got these cards here. We got the Meotic. Meotic. I thought everything in this promo is really cute. It's not cute, really pretty. Because Feebass is like the elite fish, and all of a sudden, beautiful Meotic. I was actually surprised because I haven't seen this Pokemon at all. So I played Pokemon Go. I was just, you know, trying to get a Feebass to evolve. I was like, oh man. Once I evolved it, wow, I was uh, in for a surprise when I, I got the Mealtic. Um, you know, I don't know where that pack went for. <laughs> I'm looking around now. I have three packs here. Three packs here. I don't know where the other pack for. Oh, here it is. Here's the other pack. So uh, let's open those packs up first, and then we'll open up the ETB afterwards. So, well, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I got, forgot to show the, uh, the Snorlax. So here's the Snorlax single strike. He's doing a palm. So who's he palming? I'm not just, maybe he's palming just a rock or something. But he's doing his Buddha palm. Slap, push. So I did get both of them, two of them there. So pretty cool there for the two side. And we got the coins. So uh, I got four coins in total. Two Rayquazas. Cool. And we got a Lugia, I believe, and again, yeah, I don't know what this guy is. Just saying the back what it is. Nope, just have the Pokemon logo. And that's all. So, cool, cool, cool. We have those there. Um, Alright, and then uh, let's get to opening these packs. Let's open the first two check lanes first. And see what kind of match we get out of these. Oh, I think we got it. We got a white card there. I saw a little bit of it. Let's go through. Ooh, I think we got a hit in this one. Very nice. Let's do one, two, three. Did I just throw away? <laughs> I just threw away my <laughs> code card. Anywho, who puts this aside in case somebody wants those? Uh, let's go over this. We got Kakuna single strike. And we got a Flannery single strike. We got a rugged helmet. We got a Swirlix, and then a donut. We got a Sneasel Rapid Strike, we got a Snover Single Strike. We got a Blitzel by himself, Rapid Strike. We got a Ghastly. We got a Steeny as a reverse hollow. And did we get a hit? Ooh, we did get a hit. Yeah, I was right. So we got a hit there. We know it's a full art. Which floor is it? I pinned up between this. I have too many tornadoes. Um, if we look to the top, it looks like it might be a uh, Shadow Rider Crowlrex. It would be amazing if it's the alternative art one. If it is, that would be insane. And no, Tice Rider. I don't think this is the alternative art one. I'm not too sure. It says number 46, so I don't think it is. I think I had this one already. Pretty cool. We got a hit there. That's pretty amazing. Oh, my. Oh, wait. I do have my cards. I do have my sleeves. So I have my sleeves here. Let's open this up. It's kind of falling all over the place. But very nice, we got a hit, and in the back we got a fighting energy. So, very cool. Let's put the card there for now. I'll get myself set up. Let me get this, these sleeves out here. These penny sleeves. Get myself situated. We got the Ice Rider Calyrex B-Max. And this one here, so we got a hit. That is awesome. That's a very good, uh, I picked a good one. Yeah, I think those are the last two as well, or the last couple. No, it was the last two. I think it was, oh, we didn't get hit in this one. He got a green cold card. Oh, bummer. We tricked ourselves. But uh, yeah, um, it was it was the last couple of ones left. I didn't know, I was looking for different arts, and so I, I won't say it was the last two, because then there was uh, only two arts that I saw. I don't know if there were more, but there was probably a good, this is kind of the end, maybe a couple days after restock. And so, uh, yeah, there wasn't much left. 
So that's kind of, alright, two per person. So I just picked up two and then I left. Yeah, because the limit is two and then I believe the target itself, it uh, limits you how many you can purchase in one transaction. Um, so, yeah, we got a fur file. Oh, I, I, I had, I had opened up another, uh, Trailing Rain, or maybe it was Battle Styles, and I thought this was a pre-evolved form, but I guess there's two of these guys. I forget the name, but, you know, we got a, we got a Verse Hollow. And we know we didn't get a hit, because we got a, uh, a, whatchamacallit, green card. We got Galarian Weezing instead, as he were. Cool, cool. It looks like the smoke stacks are actually, uh, those, um, guys with chef hats. I don't know what they're, what they're called. But, I get the back, we got a Dark Energy. Cool, one of them was a hit, the other one wasn't. Alright, let's see if these three packs are what they say they are. Yeah, I've been I opened up one last time and then they were a hit. And so let's see if we can get a hit in these. Let's see, let's see. Because that's what uh, a lot of folks have been saying. The uh, hits are out of the three packs, and so go for three packs. Alright, let's see if we can get a hit. We got a honey. We got an impact energy. These energies are really awesome. I like how they how they look. I do need to read and how they are because again I'm trying to play and battle against my my homie. And then I do need to figure out how they work. Alright, we got a rock buff, single strike, got a Sorox and donut. We got a thunderous reverse hollow. I just got a couple times now. Did we get a hit? <gasps> Yo, we did get a hit. Check this out. We had this card already. We had Fire Energy in the back. Yeah, yo. So it is, I think, what it is. I mean, at least, at least they got a hit and now they're done. So, yeah, we got a hit here. We got a, a Metagross V, Rapid Strike. I do believe it has this card already. So for me, this would be a second card. But, man, we got another hit. Check that out. Very, very cool. Alright, let's see how many hits you can get in one box. Pick up the other box. Right, pack. Alright. Let's go there. One, two, three only. Keep that NG in the back. Just in case. And then we got a yeah, I get the we got a fog crystal. We got a peonia. We got a cast form rain form. We got a snowver, single strike. We got a glaring mask. We got a coughing. Gonna shop it, single strike. We got a Clara verse holographic, and ooh, yo, two hits. Is this another uh, Calrex? It might be. Oh yeah, it is. This is the other. I think it's a Shadow Rider. Got the Ice Rider was the other way. Shadow Rider is the opposite way. So let's see what it is. And oh no way. <laughs> That's another Tornadoes V Max. Dang it. I thought those clouds were the head of the uh, of the head of the Calyrex. Oh writers. Dang it. Cool car though. In the back we got steel energy. I do I still do I still think this art this art is pretty awesome. The uh all of the uh the colors and the swirls really nice. So, man, this, this is pretty awesome. Sally, though, this is, I think, my third copy of Tornado's VMAX. So, I might be... I was going to say I'm going to build a deck, but I don't think this card is that good. Because, man, look at that. It's, it requires four uh, normal energy just to get max wind spirit. If it's if the stadium is in place, attack does 121 damage. Then this card has stadium. So, uh, this card is... Nah, it's okay. You know, you do have to rely on stadium. So, you know, whether you put a lot of stadium or you... Rely on your opponent to put on stadiums, which is oof, not the greatest of play style, but cool in general. You got three of them. I don't know if we'll be using it. It'd be fun. Just kind of have them play. All right, and then here we go. Code card. And we got one, two, three to the front. Keep that energy in the back. We got a Karen's Convection uh, Single Strike. We got a Weeding Gloves. We got a Porygon 2. Ooh, pick up two cards there. We got the Hurricross. across. Doing his Kale Ken single strike. We got a Chaos from Sunny Form. We got a Sfeel. We got a Hatena. We got a Rock Rough single strike. We got a Glade as a rare reverse hollow. We get a hit. Ooh, no hit in this one. We got two in hits for one. We got Dark Trigger Strike as a non holographic rare. And we got a Dark Energy. So, two packs. We got two uh, full arts there. They're not amazing full arts. But they are pretty awesome still. 
full arts are, are, are pretty amazing. So we'll, t we'll, we'll keep it and we'll take it. Yeah. Very, very nice. So let me get myself situated with these cards. And the next ones we have, I'm going to look at the pack cards. Yeah, Ice Rider. Oh, is this an Ice Rider? Oh, so maybe this is the Ice Rider because then um, his the horse doesn't have a horn. And we got Galarian. Um, sorry, Galarian. <laughs> uh, Articuno and Galarian Zapdos. This Galarian Articuno feels kind of kind of good. This might be a good card. So we'll take it as it is, as I put as I had it there before. I don't know if those are the cards I that were land lined up in order, but whatever the case is. Those are all from the same pack. So in one pack we got two full arts. So that is pretty amazing. One, two, three. And these cards don't look too bad. They don't look as damaged. Um uh, we got a doctor. Again, you know, we've uh kind of come down to it that you know this set here hasn't been printed really bad. The prints on here aren't that good. So uh, we'll check these ones again. Well, we'll check the, the rare cards. The bull cards are going to get damaged. I'm going to put them in a the box and they're going to get shuffled all around. We got a Porygon. Ooh, we got a hit. Ooh, what's number 40? What's number 40? I don't know. Ooh, is this another Calyrex? All right, it is. It is. We see the head there. This is the uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. Go, ba bam. Wait, what? Ice Rider? Wait, it's the same card. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, bummer. All right, we got a shadow energy. So we got two of these guys. Um, two Ice Rider comics, Vmax. So awesome, awesome. We got, uh, if we wanted to put you a, a, a play set of Ice Rider, then we can, because we are, I think we have three copies of these. So most of the time with these bigger Vmax ones, you, know, you need to get three or four copies. And so three copies is pretty nice. What if it's, what is its move though? Uh, oh, that's kind of kind of stuck there. Ice Rider, Calyx, Remax, um, Ride of the High King, ten damage, damage, uh, thirty more damage to each of to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Ooh, thirty damage. That's kind of nice. Max Lance, you may uh, discard up to two energy from this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does one hundred twenty more damage for each card you discard in this way. Wow. You may discard the two energy cards from this Pokemon. So you can potentially be doing, if you discard four energy, which is quite a bit of energy, you can do 240 damage. Eh, that's not too bad. That's kind of okay. But that, that's a lot of energy to be discarding though. Two energies. Man. But cool, cool. We'll have to see if it's a uh, viable in ours. Okay, this one's opening up kind of weird. The bottom was, okay, no. I, I just, I guess I was holding it wrong. Alright, we found an easy way to open up the packs. Open them from the bottom. So flip it upside down. So the pack card's upside down. And then you start tearing, you pull. And it's a, a pull off easy. You got three trainers in that pack. Not too bad. And I'm looking to build the trainers. So let's get trainers. We got a program too as a reverse hollow. And if we get a hit, no hit with number 68. We got a slur puff as the uh, rare non hollow. And we got a water engine in the back. Okay, let's see if we can get another hit from this last pack here. So, again, for the art, flip it upside down, and turn it around. And you kind of press at the folds here. You kind of just press and open. And it opens up. Man, that's actually <laughs> really nice. I was digging my, uh, my fingers. Uh, trying to open up the pack at the top and man, it was not working out for me. I was hurting my fingers and my goodness. So, man, that makes it so much easier. Which is sad because then, because <laughs> every um, set kind of opens up differently. So, because uh, they package them differently for some, for some other reason. But, um, ah, I need a floor in this one. Cute dick. Anywho, um... Every set's different. They, they package them differently. They open up differently. One's can be easier. One can be harder. Like this one's pretty hard, but we found a way. Uh, the card disappeared somewhere. Well, we'll get it later. It's just a common card. But the sad thing is, though, I did declare that this is kind of the last of. Ooh, we got another. <laughs> darn it. We got a reverse Hollow Avery. And we got another Metagross V, Rapid Strike. So, um, and we got a second engine back. 
Uh, all right, so let me kind of finish my, my, my thought. Uh, what was I trying to say? Yeah, so we can open the pack easier. Sally, this is, and I, I declare this is kind of the last time I'm opening um, Chilling Ring products. And so, yeah, it's kind of a doozy. I just figured out how to open them. And then now, you know, I'm not opening up any more products. Kind of sad. I will be looking to get in singles. Um, but yeah, so that's it uh, for these packs here. So not too much uh, out of them. Uh, we did get, uh, I think it was two in each. So you're pretty much guaranteed two. Um, I got this one from one of the, one of the Blizzard uh, Checklings ones. And I got these two from one three pack and these other two from another three pack. So the three packs do have full arts. Are they amazing full arts? Nah. They're okay, you know. They're 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 the full art sets there. You know, it's enough to get the card going, but they're not the the ones you know the the secret rares or anything that I've seen. I don't know if I pulled one from the last video. I have to revisit that video again. But cool. So if you're just looking for full arts, those three packs again. Get those three packs. Those three packs have gold in them. Hopefully, you can find gold. Anyway, let's get to uh, going to the next video. Well, the next video, the next next video, but the next. Um, Gosh, next set, next packs. So this is, I guess the last one opened up then was the Ice Rider, sorry, Shadow Rider, because I guess the Ice Rider one is the one with the, wait, I'm all confused now. Is that Ice Rider? Are there two different Ice Riders? I thought I pulled up a Shadow Rider. No, okay, this is Ice Rider. No, we were right. Why, why did I say Ice Rider? Yeah. Why? I, I, I saw something flow for some odd reason. I'm, I'm all thrown off now. I don't know what I saw. Man, I, it might be, it might be a long day for me. It's kind of late. It's midnight already. I know me core these things at midnight. Because that's when my baby's asleep, parts to sleep, you know, and then this is my time to myself. So, but uh, yeah, so I was right. This is Ice, Ice Rider and this is Shadow Rider. I've been calling this guy Shadow Rider. And I don't know why I was calling it that. I, for some odd reason, had a glimpse and I saw this art and I thought it was Ice Rider. I knew it wasn't, but I don't know. Anywho, it comes with this the book here. Um the book kinda goes through showcasing some of the you know, the arts on here. So we did get the Ice Rider V Max. Um and these are all just the vanilla cards, right? The cards that you, you can use to play um to play for the game. So pretty cool there. And then the ones that our people are chasing are in the bag. Oh, we got a gold Galarian Rapidash. I don't know why Galarian Rapidash V everyone's trying to go for. I do like the Ponytog. Ponytog is pretty pretty cute, pretty pretty cool. It looks like it's from uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the Pony Avengers or whatever. Uh, My Favorite Pony. Yeah, it kind of looks like they just kind of took it out and they go, here you go, you're a Pokemon now, be a Pokemon. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it looks like it just kind of popped off one of those. Again, you know, we're chasing the Golden Snorlax. I do, it's Electro, okay? It wasn't Voltorb, it was Electro. So we do, I do want to get this, uh, shiny, um, Electro that's gold. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, I think we pulled a Karen's Conviction, um, in one of the, uh, times. And we also pulled a Peony. Um, yeah, so... And I wouldn't mind getting these energy cards here, the gold ones, those sparkles. So amazing. And Melanie. So, who's a waifu that I wouldn't mind getting? Waifu. I guess it's either Flannery, Doctor, or Kai. Kai? Caitlin? Caitlin? Maybe the Doctor. Ooh. The, the glasses. Hmm. The glasses. So. Uh, these are the turn of arts ones. So these are the ones that uh, people are chasing for. I believe there's two alternative arts for each one. So there's that one there, and then there's the other one here. The alternative art ones. These are pretty awesome because there's always like a second alternative art that has like a they're like doing something. You know, they're they're in an environment. It looks like it's like a cut from a movie or something like this here. It looks like a cut. It's a cut from a movie. I assume this one here. All right. They're just kind of in the element. It shows more detail. It shows them in the in the wild, right? And the you know, and the, there's like homes there. So there's a lot more going on than just the Pokemon itself, right? So those are pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get to opening more. And of course, we're looking for that one, Galarian Motris, um, and also uh, Zero Aura V. So, and also the Galarian's out those. Those are what we're looking for. Let's see if we can get it. It'll be awesome if we do. 
that will make the night go well. And I ruined and I damaged the other one because I didn't open it right. So I'm gonna leave this one kind of enclosed. I believe it's the same art. We got Ice Rider, we got Shadow Rider there. We got Glare Motress and Glaren Zapdos. And I'm sorry, Articuno and then Zapdos uh, and then Motress at the bottom. So we'll keep this together and attack. If you haven't seen this yet, this is what you'll get. So you do get uh, eight um, booster packs. You get a bunch of sleeves. You get the uh, dividers there, which I will be using the dividers now, especially for uh, just kind of sorting out all the Pokemon now. I do, I don't need the dividers for Digimon anymore because I'm now, I have opened up so much Digimon that a box here doesn't even hold, you know, one one color anymore. Ooh, I kind of like this color. It's, uh, it's nice. I kind of want to keep this. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Huh, I might just keep this as, as it is. I kind of like... I kind of like the box sitting up tall like this because I like, like showing it, but you know, you do want to just keep this for just a card only, so. Sad, sad, sad. Let's go through the contents. We do have the instructions on how to play the game. We give some contents there. And we get the dice. Ooh, the dice looks pretty cool. And we got the counters for uh, sorry, the, the poison and the burn counters. Just to let your Pokemon know that you're burned. Uh, but these ones here, they look pretty cool. Just splash of the two different colors. Kind of interesting. I I would like to have it if it was a uh, clear or see through or kind of clear, but this is pretty cool. I do like the color. It looks makes it looks like a kind of dark and you no know, shadow. Yeah, kind of kind of like poison. So very cool. I like these dice. Nice dice. I think I prefer them over the the white ones. Oh well, sorry, the ice rider ones. So let's go do. What's a kill cool card at? Uh, code card, code card. Oh, no code card. Just in fact, somewhere. So we got these ones here. Um, again, these do look kind of beat up on here on the edges. They are in the box, and so you know they're being shuffled around. Going, I think these are right underneath the. Um, oh my gosh, right underneath here, right? So I think they're sitting um, just underneath here, and then they're kind of being shoved up against this, and so. They're just kind of being constantly shuffled up here, so that's how they're getting damaged. Yeah, and they're all damaged just kind of slightly on the, the corners there. So that kind of sucks. Garrick Nils looks kind of nice. All right, well, the sides are pretty pretty bad and damaged. So that's what I was kind of complaining about this. Uh, maybe just a set. I don't know if the other ones are. Do I only get? Okay, just four of them. All right, just four of them. So just four of these guys. It's a close-up. It's far distance away. Full body. All right, we got those there. You got your energy cards. And you also get your code card. Ooh, code card. And also the uh, pack card, so purple. Nice. So this is pretty cool. I probably will be using this for Digimon because it's purple. I'm trying to build with a purple deck. So it's gonna be kind of weird. I'm using Digimon sleeve, or Pokemon sleeves for Digimon. But very nice with these set those aside. And let's go into the pack. We are, we do have eight packs inside here. We better have eight packs. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs in there. We'll put this down, set this aside, put this over there. All right, and so we have first pack art. We got the Ice Rider. We got Glare and uh, Zapto, Glare and Motris. We got Ice Rider Calyrex again, Glare and Articuno. We got a Shadow, right? Oh, this is what I was saying. I, I look at the pack guard and I thought this, this was an ice rider um, because uh, it looks the same but the horse is different but look at these two now I didn't know that they both have the same look but they're different right they're riding different um, horses is that what makes them different I thought that his head was also a uh, purple too for some odd reason I don't know why I even thought that but I was thinking that anywho let's get to opening his pack again from the bottom flip it over Upside down, turn it over, open a flap, press here, and then pull. Tug, tug, tug. All right, so it doesn't always work. So, yeah, that sucks. And it's probably because of the yeah, ETB. It it's just Elite Trainer Box. One, two, three. And these cards are kind of damaged, so that's no good. So, if this was an amazing car, say like a Golden Snorlax, you know, getting a grader for PSA, it's not going to be good. Because it's going to be slightly damaged, and a PSA grades really on just the condition of the card. You know, the corners is 
Are the corners good? Or the, uh, uh, is the centering good? Like the second this one is really bad. Look how far off on the left it is. You can see more, the, the right side looks a bit skinnier. Yeah, it looks a bit skinnier on the right side. I don't know if you can tell, but let's flip it over, see if you can, can tell on this side here. Yeah, you can really tell the difference here. So this one looks kind of skinnier than the right side here. Let me hold the card flush. There we go. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's off-centered. So, you know, I think this whole this whole package here looks like it's off-centered. Or maybe it's just my eyes, but they're all looking off-centered right now. Um, you got a scolopede as a reverse hollow. Cool. And then is it back? Oh, we don't get anything. We do get a Kecleon Vapistratic here. And we got a Dark Angel in the back. So, no hits in that one, which is A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. That's the first pack. Oh, okay. So that trick does work. It does require a little bit of force. But it's not too bad. I don't mind doing that. One, two, three. Move to the front. Keep that NG in the back. We got a lighter one. We got a fire resistant glove. We got a welcoming lantern single stripe. We got a skull of it. We got a spiel. We got a Srolex and donut. We got a glaring your mask. We got a cast form, sunny form. We got a Volcarona as a rare reverse hollow. What was the reverse at? Let me see reverse. You can tell it's reverse because you can see the fire disappearing and appearing. So reverse hollow and we get a hit. Oh, no hits. We got a, a bomb of snow single strike. Bummer, green energy. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Two pack arts out of that ETB, and we did not get a hit. So that is a total bummer. So these ETBs are not the way to go. So if you're looking for a hit, don't go ETBs. Go for three packs. ETBs are, I think, for, I'm, I'm assuming, battle style. Anything that has the support for the rapid strike and single strike might all be bad. You might want to get them in the... Uh, the three packs there, so I do need to buy. Yeah, I do need to buy battle styles of three packs to verify that, see if there are hits. But people on the internet are hinting that even the battle style three packs have hits in them, so look out for those. ETBs are not the way to go. We got a Cinderace as a reverse hollow, cool, 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 and no hits in here either, which is pretty bad. So we got a non-holographic um, wear as a Saul's book. My first time seeing this one here, I think. This is Bambi's uh, Evolved form. You got a electric energy in the back. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, I keep losing my train of thought. Man. Doing these super late or it's really bad. I don't remember what I talk about no more. One, two, three. Put those to the front. And we got a Drizzle, the Rapid Strike. Um, I know I was talking something about uh, Rapid Strike, I'm um, sorry, the Single Strike and Chillering stuff. But yeah, I haven't been able to verify because I haven't been able to see any of the three packs. If I did, I, you know, thought of the target and I opted to get something else out of it. I think I was trying to say something about, oh, we got a Fog Crystal as Reverse Hollow. Nice. And still no hits here, which is pretty sad. We got a Fog Glass as a Holographic Rare. We had this one before already. Very nice card. We got a Water Engine in the back. So we are down to four packs left. So four packs and no hits. Yeah, no hits in these. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah, I was talking about my, my target runs. So, if I if I did see you know a uh, a you know a big pack of the um, battle styles, I probably opted out to get a chilly rain one, or maybe there were um, you know um, other things right? like tins or something or shiny face product, you no know, V V boxes. Cause I did pick up a lot of V boxes uh, during the target target um, restocks, so now I would pick up a Champions Path V box instead. So. Yeah, you know, when I do go, I, I would rather pick up something else instead because those three packs aren't, to me, as, as investment stand wise, I think I'd rather go for those other ones because those ones have a lower print and Battle Styles is a newer print. And right now, Battle Styles is super, you know, affordable right now, especially online. Um, I did see a bunch of three packs on there. I think they have a, you can buy two three packs for, I think, 18 
is it 18 or 22 dollars yeah, it's 22 dollars 21 dollars uh, you are saving like a buck or two so no shaman reverse hollow this is rare oh cool i think it's my first one getting this card here yo we got another floor but it's a life heart v bummer -roo. oh no my card fell <laughs> i've got a fighting energy uh it's not that I don't care about the card, but the card's kind of fell out of my hand, so I do need something to sit here so it doesn't fall out again. So if it was a very good card, like a Zero or a V alternative art, I would be super sad. But we got a full art. We do have a light part already. This would be the second one. Cool, cool. What is its uh, ability there? It's a hidden claw, so... Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, um, during your turn, you may discard a Pokemon tool from a Pokemon. Hmm. Not the best uh, ability there. It's kind of, it's, it's very limited in what you can do. You just take a tool card off, which most people don't play tool cards at all, which is kind of odd, but you know, I guess there's other ways to do it. Other Pokemon have other abilities, like GX abilities, that make it a lot more useful. And it's, it's it just, the card is, the, the ability itself is just a lot better. Right, than just that one there. So, yeah, it's a bummer. Oh well, we got a Dino Tree Hill, we got a Justified Gloves, we got a Lucky Energy, we got a Ladybug, we got a Golet, we got a Clopopus, and we got a Cast Form, Snow Reform. We got a Hatena, we got a Ross so as a reverse rare, and the back, no hits there. We got a Glade as the non holographic rare, we got a Fire Engine in the back. So we're down to two packs left. <laughs> Only one full art that's not the best, it's kind of meh. All right, and then a lot of new kids uh, terminology, it's just meh. So uh, yeah, this is a, a bummer. So uh, these. Uh, ETBs are not that great. Um, you know, and a lot of people went for ETBs, right? Because of uh, the most recent, um, the most most recent, uh, I guess, is it? Well, not recent, the, the new and modern stuff, right? So, like Champions Pass, Shiny Fates, right? Hidden Fates. So, those ones, right? They were getting hit out of the uh, training boxes. So, right now, you know, like Hidden Fates training box, if you're trying to get one of those, on second hand market, second hand market like eBay, because those things are going for like hundred and fifty four dollars, and they're originally only fifty dollars or so. I believe fifty dollars. So people, you know, are are, are copying, you know, a hundred dollars per ETB, right? That's the profit they're making, so which is pretty insane. So it sucks because they are in print again. Not as much of it is printed, but there are you know scalpers out there who are going to stores and just buying it out. And then reselling it on a second store, which is, you know, it's it sucks that that happens, but you know, it's it's a shame. Oh, dude, <laughs> very very nice. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got the gold energy, and it's a water energy. Very very nice. It's a gold card. It'd been amazing if it was both water energy, but it wouldn't be. Ooh, okay, okay. I won't talk too bad about these uh, ATBs anymore, which I still will. But hey, got me a pretty good card. Ooh, I feel like I scratched that up in the back there. Nice, we got our very first gold card ever. So uh, I've opened up most of my most of my product all on you know YouTube. So if you've ever seen anything, you know, it's, it's all on YouTube, Most of my product. I did open up some. Again, it was when I was with my nephews at my, uh, my in-laws place. And then it opened up a bunch of packs there. So I did open up a bunch of packs with them. And I didn't get any gold card. It would have been amazing if we got a gold Houndoom. But, I mean, I do actually just want a regular Houndoom. Because Houndoom is actually a pretty good card for, um, you know, moving energy around. Kind of like a... Uh, Somebody else does that. I forget their name. Bronzer. Bronzer also do also does that. It moves energy around. So, or is it search? I think Hondum searches energy. I forget. But it was a really good card though. Anywho, first gold card ever. Amazing, amazing. 
And packing a single stripe, we got a uh, pat to the peak. The stadium curve, we got a drizzle at the stripe, we got a spiel. We got a swirlix and a donut. We got a glare and a mask. We got a cast form and sunny form. We got a cast form, just a regular uh, yarn or uh, knitted. We got a lot of vest, though, reverse hollow. Is there a hit in the last pack? No hits in the last pack. We just got a regular non holographic rare um, duck trio. And that's pack still energy. So uh, that kind of sucks, man. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the pull for this ETB. Pretty sad. There's only uh, two full arts in here, which is Leopard and this amazing gold energy. Uh, very cool. We do we have a secret? This is secret number 231. I think there's 232 or 233. So, man, this set is huge. 200. I mean, these sets are, are so so big. It's 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 almost it's almost impossible, nearly impossible to collect it all by just a couple of uh, you know packs here and there. You almost have to do a lot. So, I'm learning that you can't get these cards. You have to uh, buy singles. Yeah. So, anywho, uh, that's it for the video. Uh, it's kind of showcase what I got so far. So, yeah. Out of today's polls, we got a Minigirls V, we got a Tornadoes V Max, we got a Minigirls V, I do want the V Max one, we got an Iris Rider Calyx V Max, two of them, and we got a Lipart and a Gold uh, Water Energy. So, very, very cool. That's our poll for tonight, um, I guess for, for me. So, thank you all for watching. Um, look out for those three packs. Go get them. They have uh, good hits in them. Nah, I say good hits. They have hits in them. They might have an amazing hit. So look for those. I guess avoid the trainer boxes because um, you know I I'm warning. You know I'm gonna do some speculations. I'm warning if whether or not if they're rotating where the you know hits are. You know because uh, then uh, again the shiny face, shiny face, champions pass. ETBs are where you want to go. You go to ETBs, you get amazing hits of it. I think they might have picked onto that and they swapped it around and now they go, you know what, we're going to put the hits in these three packs here. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But, you know, um, people are, are being disappointed with Chili Rain's uh, set because it's this price is going down right now. It's It was, you know, pre-order was at 154 for a booster box. And now a booster box is one, I think I saw it at 115, 118. Right, and so uh, it's going down in price. The reason why is because the pull rates are so bad, you know, and uh, you know you're getting so much bulk. Watch, let me give you all the bulk. So this this is all just bulk cards. This is not even the trainers. This is all just bulk cards that I pulled to the side. Right, this is all bulk. Well, actually, let me turn it over to the side here. So uh, yeah, so check it out. Right, these are the rares I got. Right, just kind of random rares. These are the reverse holographics. I said, I swore, this is how I sort my cards out. And I leave, I leave the trainers on side here because I do want to use the trainers. But look how much bulk these are, though. These only ones that I would use, probably these ones, even these might go back because there's a lot of reverse um, holographic cards that I'm getting that are repeats. So, yeah, it's a lot of bulk cards. And, you know, I, I had mentioned before in another video, what do you do with all the bulk cards? There's so many bulk um, cards, right? So, I don't know. I'm gonna open up another uh, booster box because I hate to have all uh, a lot more bulk that I'm gonna just either toss out or something. I don't know what to do with it. So, anywho, that's a theory of mine. Maybe uh, the next evolving skies they might rotate in something else, right? Because let's say battle styles and chill rain were the three pack to go pick up, right? They're in them. So maybe the evolving skies are in those blister packs. Maybe you get hits from there, which is kind of kind of hard. I figured it'd be in a multi-pack um, case. But anywho, I probably should stop because that's almost like a theory rant that I should do for another video. Um, yeah, so anywho, that's it. Uh, like and subscribe, leave a comment. Should I do a giveaway? Mm, I'll do a giveaway for another video. Anywho, thanks for watching the video and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.